Dear Carrie, hello, 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 hello. I hope you are well. I hope Heather's is going well. I believe you are now in tech. In fact, I know you're in tech. Uh, and that the show opens this Saturday. Oh, amazing. I can't wait to come and see it. We know when we're coming now. You know when we're coming now. Um, I haven't seen the film. Me and Tom were talking about it the other night, actually. Neither of us have seen the film. And we almost don't want to see it because we just want to see you in the musical and enjoy it. Uh, and not be like, oh yes, this is when. Just be I don't just really tell the story about you, to be honest. That's what I'm going to do. Looking forward to it. Um, today has been a rather strange day. Um, I was planning on doing a nice little video about how amazing the week has been, and it has been an absolutely amazing week. Um, uh, obviously, Even Man was published last week, and me and Tom have been on a bit of a book tour. Uh, we did our first ever, our one and only Q&A event um, in London. So it's our only one that we've ever done together, um, which was really good fun, um, very interesting. Uh, you know, basically when you do so much promo together, you kind of figure out who's going to say what when. Uh, so it was interesting kind of learning that. Um, and then we also had uh, some other signings in like Manchester, Birmingham and Norwich, um, which were also amazing and, uh, and people were amazing. It was lovely to meet so many people and, uh, and people were so patient and kind, just brilliant. I always think it's quite difficult at things like that and, and Carrie, I'm sure you're the same. When people have been queuing for a while, you don't want them to feel like they're just like rushed. Like, but at the same time, there are hundreds of people to get through, but you want, want whoever's got their book signed to know how much it means that they are there. So it's quite a, an exhausting day in terms of, you know, being happy to see everyone. And I am genuinely happy to see every single face that I see when I look up. We wouldn't be doing the things that we do uh, if it weren't for the people who um, read our books, come and see the shows that we're in, um, buy our music, uh, all of those things, um, listen to the podcasts, you know, none of that stuff is possible without you guys. So, it just meant so much, it meant so much to kind of meet people. And um, yeah, it was really, really lovely. I was exhausted. I kept saying on Monday, I know I'm gonna be ill. I know I'm gonna be poorly. And sure enough, I was poorly. That you can hear it now. In fact, plus one, uh, one lady said to me on um, Sunday, oh, you sound a bit ill. And I've been trying to hide it. And I was like, yeah, a little bit ill. <laughs> I think it was one of those moments, you know, when your voice completely goes and you're like, oh no, oh no. Um, but that was fine. Um, so Monday and Tuesday we had some time with the boys, which was amazing. Uh, I think we are. Oh, we also went to see Killer Joe in London um, with Orlando Bloom, which was really intense, really quite compelling, gripping, unnerving. You just couldn't not look at what was going on the stage, and the actors were unbelievable. All of them, not just Orlando. Um, just absolutely incredible and uh, yeah, just, just, it's a stick arounder. It's gonna stick in my brain for a bit. Uh, I don't, I'm not one who, you know, watches horror films or thrillers or crimes or things that make me feel uncomfortable, not really. Um, obviously Tom talks me into doing, watching things like that occasionally, but it's not something that I would normally choose to watch I guess if I was on my own I don't read those sort of books I don't like the feeling of being scared but this is something um, that is probably so far removed from me and who I am and the world that I live in that it's probably safe it's probably okay for me to go and watch um, it was uh, unbelievable really incredible so I'm glad I got to see that piece of theatre and then basically on Wednesday me and Tom finished planning Eve of Man book two um, so we've done the first round of what we think is going to happen and um, we've sent that off to the editors so that they can see structurally where we're going with it and the ideas that we've got and kind of go, surprise, there's certain uh, twists that are happening. Um, and, uh, and we're just waiting for their feedback. And then as soon as they give their feedback, we will start writing it properly. Although I have a feeling that maybe tomorrow me and Tom might start um, doing a little bit of writing on it. Um, and then this morning, I uh, had great plans, great plans planned. <laughs> And um, I was going to be going to watch Buzz's Sports Day, and and then I had some training for something that I'm filming uh, in a in a month's time, um, booked in for this afternoon. 
uh, and then I was running around this morning trying to get everything done, everything ready, like you know most mornings and uh, the footstool was out and I just completely did not see it at all. I basically power walked straight into it at great speed and force and, uh, and I was in absolute agony. But you know when you're not sure whether it's, have I cut it, have I lost a toenail, like what's going on? Um, uh, but it was really, really sore. And, uh, and so I hobbled around for a bit and I was like, actually, I need to go get it seen. And even though, you know, you know the doctors aren't going to do much when you go to hospital, uh, I just thought I'd rather go to A&E and, and see what's what. So I have broken my middle toe on my right foot. Um, and I've got a boot. I've got a boot. I don't know if I, don't know if I can get it up. <laughs> there it is. Ah! <laughs> uh, I have a boot on. Um, not a boot on, just a boot on, um, uh, and uh, I've been hobbling around. So basically, I do have to put some weight on it, um, but also not go mad because also I am six months pregnant. Um, so uh, I was finding it really difficult to walk around. So my friend has also lent me her rather posh. Ow, black crutches. You know what? Today I'm so accident prone. I feel like. Well, I will. I will be sitting on the sofa from now uh, until bedtime, just reading and just chilling out. Um, so now I have this boot on my foot for a minimum of two weeks, um, could be six weeks, um, and just see how I go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. That's the thing. I think, you know, I was given a boot and not crutches because I think they try and get you to walk around on it, which obviously I will be walking around on it, I will be moving, but however, but however, um, I am someone who walks around a lot. I have two children to run around after. So the crutches are just to aid me um, a little bit, a little bit, give me a little bit of help. All is fine, all is fine. I just feel like I will be glad when today is over. It's quite a big statement, really. Although actually, some other nice things happened. I've got some new um, storage for the cupboard in there. I don't know about everyone else, but we've had a real big issue with ants lately. Got rid of the ants, but now I want to uh, take any cereal that we've got out of boxes and put them in sp uh, special like containers. So that those containers arrived, I've been putting them, obviously I've been resting, but also this is only took a few minutes. I've been putting cereal in the containers. That makes me feel good. We had an invite to a, uh, a special dinner uh, with Prince Charles. That was amazing. Uh, what else happened that was rather amazing today? I feel like there were a few things. Tom obviously sent me videos of Buzz uh, at Sports Day and uh, the look of um, enjoyment on his face uh, just made me feel, obviously I was gutted to miss it. Um, I haven't cried today because I've been holding that all at bay. Um, but uh, feeling, just, just feeling like I, I was kind of not there but I, mean, I did go to school afterwards and we had a little picnic because we watched the older kids um, do their sports day. I feel like at least I kind of got to see it and there's nothing I could do, so th there's nothing I could do. <sighs> Not thinking like that is just going to make me feel bad and what can come from me feeling bad other than me feeling terrible. So uh, that's that. Um, what else happened today that was really, really good? I feel like something really, really good happened. I guess great storage and... A letter from the from the palace is quite good. Um, yeah, quite good. Obviously, I missed my training um, because you know <laughs> a bit of agony. Um, but other than that, it's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, but I didn't want to leave you hanging because I know that I didn't do mum days this week. Um, but I shall be doing one for Monday, which will be a six month pregnancy update. Um, just slightly over that now. But that's all right, don't worry. It's all fine, <laughs> it's all in hand. Um, do you think I've said it's fine a little bit too much in this video? I fear I might have done. Anyway, I'm not gonna edit it too much because this is me and uh, it's been a quite stressful day and who knows what might happen if I do try and edit. If I, I feel like I just need to just rest, 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 rest. Uh, but I shall see you on Monday for a six month pregnancy update. Thank you very much, people. I shall speak to you later. Bye! Bye, guys.